teacher Laura Wiles and math teacher Brian Hodges and I am your science teacher Marie Bohr. Can you tell me what supplies the students will need this year? For science you will need a three subject notebook. We do ask that you try to find one with a plastic cover just so it will hold up throughout the school year. For math, you will need a five subject notebook. For language arts, you will need a three subject notebook. For history, you will need a one inch binder. We also ask that you have some loose leaf paper. You will need two pocket folders with three holes. One will be for homework and the other one will be for history. Here are some of the general supplies you will need. If you just saw our supplies, we have a supply list on the website that's updated for remote learning. Students will need a scientific calculator like this one for home and school use. If, the, uh, if you don't have one at home and you can't get one, school will provide you one while you're here, but these cannot be taken home. Uh, prices from Walmart, Target, and Amazon range about $9. So what's up with the planner? Is it really that important? This year, all students will be given a planner from Dan or Middle, and it goes with them everywhere except lunch and to the assigned restroom breaks. There are also two passes in here for restroom breaks outside of the assigned two that we give them. I heard in middle school you use lockers. Will that be the case this year? Students will not use lockers this year. They will be uh, in, class, in their homeroom classroom the entire time, so they need a sturdy book bag with their supplies. This year, the students won't be moving classes. We will. We'll have a cart and we'll go from room to room. How much will breakfast and lunch cost this year? Free, 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 free. So the great thing about this year is all of our students will get breakfast and lunch free. If you're remote, you will still be able to get the breakfast and lunch meals provided for you by the cafeteria. That information will come at a later time. I've heard something about a learning coach. Can you explain that to me? So parents are going to act as the learning coach. They will make sure that the assignments get turned in on a timely in a timely manner. They'll also make sure to check class tag. I think Mr. Hodges will explain that in a few minutes. They will also be responsible for the honor system. Now the honor system is where we're asking you that to maximize in-person instruction, we will be sending tests home to take. So what that means is we just expect the parents to not help the student with their test 
and to just make sure that they focus and do what they need to do during the time that the test is being taken. We will give assignments at home, um, but they won't be hopefully too difficult that the parents can't help them. What's this thing called class tag? Is it a new game or something? No, class tag is not a game. It's a communication tool for parents, teachers, and students. So, class tag is a lot like class dojo, which you used in elementary school, but it's a little more mature. You can upload their assignments into it. You can send the teacher messages if you have any questions. You can even set up a Google Meet with your student's teacher through it. Now, we sent home, uh, well actually we emailed, texted, something of that matter, to each parent to invite them to our classes. If you did not receive one, please let us know at Open House so we can get you one. Well, there you have it. We will provide more information to you at our Open House via Google Meet. We are looking forward to a great school year, and remember, we'll be there for you. Can't wait to see you sixth graders soon. It's going to be different, but it's going to be great. <laughs>